everybody. Today we are on phase three of this large landscape project in Ovilla. Let me walk you through the previous phases. Phase one was a big land clearing project. Uh, we were out here for two days with two crews, clearing dead trees, um, cutting down little trees, and just getting the front yard back to the customer. Day uh, phase two was a crushed concrete driveway. That's what we did yesterday. 300 feet of crushed concrete drive. Looks really nice. Customer was able to pull into their house with ease yesterday. It's a lot wider than it was before. Phase three will be retaining wall. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing today. We're gonna build a retaining wall around the deck, retain some soil, but also get them kind of a landing area where they, we can put in a flagstone patio. They can have a little seating area. So let's go take a look at that. All right, this house was built on the top of a hill. You can see it slopes down in the backyard and it slopes down in the front yard. So we're gonna help by putting in a retaining wall over here. You can see their deck is level with their house, but when it comes out in the yard, really high off the ground. Just in this little corner where they come off their deck, we're gonna put a retaining wall. It'll be about 40 feet. It's gonna start at the deck and wrap its way around this mound. It'll be about four feet tall. And then once we're done with the retaining wall, we'll backfill with soil and we'll put a flagstone patio on top and a little flower bed along the edge of the retaining wall. There's quite a few steps involved in the retaining wall. We make sure to do it right. So we'll walk you through the steps as we're installing them today. Here are the retaining wall blocks we are using today. And then these are the caps that will go on top. These are not the uh, stackable pavers that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Nothing against Home Depot or Lowe's, but these are quite a bit larger. They are meant for retaining a lot of weight. You can go about as high as you want with these. Today, we're just gonna go about four feet tall, but these make a great retaining wall. We're gonna use the crushed concrete base, and then they just stack on each other. You can see the lip here, where they connect to the each bottom one. And it makes for a great freestanding retaining wall. A lot less expensive than if you were to do like a natural stone retaining wall with concrete and mortar. And of course, those look really nice, but if you're looking for something more economical, this is a great choice. trench, put in our crushed concrete footer. Now we're putting down the first level of retaining wall blocks. First level always takes the most work, getting every piece perfectly level to the next one, making sure our first line is right, then it'll go pretty quick from there.
All right, guys, we're gonna let you in on a little secret here. Not even gonna charge any extra for this one. We'll show you how we account for drainage here. On this retaining wall, there's gonna be a lot of water runoff. You can see it's a steep slope. There are no gutters on the roof. And uh, we backfill with wash rock as we're building the retaining wall, which will help with drainage. But to be ultra sure, we are gonna run perforated ADS pipe in a sock, commonly used for French drains. And you can see we put in a T here. This is where the uh, pipe is gonna come out. So it's gonna catch all the water running off this slope. And uh, we're gonna release it here just at the end of the final slope. And that'll keep water from holding in this area and moving our retaining wall. You can see we've almost got the first row done here. And simultaneously as we're going, we're backfilling with a little bit of washed rock as the base for that drain pipe. All right, the second line of the retaining wall is in. And you can see we've got the drainage pipe running all the way along, washed rock underneath it, and washed rock is getting backfilled as we go. It's coming together nicely. Making sure we got the proper drainage here. We don't like coming back because of issues down the road, so we try and do it right the first time before we cover it up. Here's where it exits. Goes out a good six feet and releases down the slope. Update on the retaining wall for y'all. Wall is mostly built. We've been backfilling with washed rock against the retaining wall blocks, installed the French drain. We've top filled the top with dirt. We're gonna make a cool flagstone patio as a landing strip and walkway through here. And then a flower bed against the very edge. It'll look sweet. Hey everybody, it's been about a day since we had an update. So I wanted to catch you up on what's going on out here. Retaining wall is finished. Other than the cap, we still have to do the cap. Rock the glue today. It looks really good. And uh, I'll tell you what we did up here on top. We backfilled with soil, packed it down several times, and then we put down more landscape fabric. And now, as you can see, we've put in decomposed granite. We're grading that. We're gonna do a flagstone patio on top and a flower bed that kind of wraps along here along the edge. It's gonna look really nice. Wanted to show y'all the progress we made yesterday. It's getting cold out here, right, Carlos? It's getting cold. It's supposed to get colder tonight, but that's all right. Um, one thing too that we've added, the customer loved the way the retaining wall was coming along over there. So they asked us if we could do this side as well. So we're over here digging the trench and we'll start backfilling with crushed concrete as our base. We'll do the same thing over here. What's up, Gonzalo? Eduardo, good morning. Good morning. Of the day here. Today was a lot of detailed work. So we got a lot done, even though it may not look like it. We got about half of the caps on this retaining wall. We are having to cut every other piece so that it fits along a curve. Looks good though. We also put in the chopstone border for the flower bed. So over here on the right side, we're gonna have a flower bed over here on the left side, we are going to have a flagstone patio. So that's coming together nicely. Tomorrow, we will finish up the caps on the retaining wall and start putting in the flagstone patio and also get these plants planted. We've got some beautiful Rose Creek abelia over there. Nice dark green foliage, bloom a white flower in the spring and summer. Give you guys the outside view of this retaining wall. Pretty awesome. Now they have a very practical area, a nice walk from their back deck to the front of their yard. This spot was basically unusable. It was such a steep drop off before. You guys can see a little glimpse. You can see how steep the drop off is. It looks great. We're heading out for the day. We'll be back tomorrow. Here's the progress over here. Plants have been planted. 
Landscape fabric was put down. It's ready for black star gravel over there. Blackstone patio started. We got the puzzle masters here, Carlos and Eduardo. It's going pretty good. Should have this side wrapped up pretty quick. We'll start the other side. Here is the progress from yesterday. We got the flagstone patio put in. It's mostly done. We just have to go back today and add a little bit of decomposed granite in the cracks. But it looks really good. Customer is really pleased with it. Today we got to put the black star gravel in along these Rose Creek abelias. We got to finish the caps for the retaining wall. We ran out of caps. Because this was a curve all the way from start to finish, we had to cut every other cap and we ran out. So a lesson for you guys that I had to learn is when you're doing a retaining wall on a curve, always expect more caps. And there is a formula you can use to figure it out. I tried to just guess and I was wrong. So we'll be getting more caps today. We'll finish that up. We'll be working on the other side, over, the, over there on the other side of the backyard, doing that retaining wall and flagstone patio today. It's 28 degrees out here this morning. It's a little cold for us Texans. But we're gonna work through it. We're gonna get a lot done today. It's uh, 28 degrees this morning, so we can't really do a lot of planting, but we are on a job where we're finishing up some retaining walls, some flagstone patios. So just hang tight and we'll introduce you to some folks and see what status is going on. Our first stop, we got Sam Westlake, our local YouTube star, videographer, and landscape extraordinaire. That's right. He's uh, here working something he normally uh, doesn't know anything about. Got that shovel in hand, loading up, uh, loading up some decomposed granite <laughs> to uh, fill in for a flagstone patio. It's a little wet over here in the area, so we couldn't get the bobcat to scoop it up. Plus, we got a little bit of liner underneath it. It looks like here, so it's easier than making a big mess. So our next stop, of course. Uh, always a manager always a manager on the job on their phone talking to somebody straightening something out working on the next step but here we got uh gonzalo aka Ka, and we got carlos and uh manuel's over here giving some direction coming up here on the other side of the house we have andreas been with the crew for a couple years now he's working on Leveling out this retainer wall, finishing this side out. We have Eduardo. He's another one of our landscapers. He's over here, head down working. Finishing out the wall on this side. It's gonna be uh, another big retaining wall here with a flagstone patio on top. We moved this uh, playground here out of the way for the time being, and we'll uh, get it all put back in before long. And over here we have Arturo and Jose putting in a four inch chopstone 
flower bed that's going to go around the back side of this flagstone patio. Everybody's working hard, doing what they do. done today had 12 guys out here this area is finally completely finished we're doing one more water down so that the decomposed granite really gets packed in but the caps on the retaining wall were finished black star gravel was put in the flower bed this is done here blocks on the retaining wall were put in cap was about 90% complete Added some cool boulder steps here. We're gonna add one more down at the finish. Installed a flower bed along the house here with a few steps coming out of the garage. Got a good jump on the flagstone patio. We'll have to come back tomorrow and finish it. But all in one day's work. There's the end of the retaining wall there. Now it's clean up go home and do it all again tomorrow hey everyone here we are at the ovilla project finally finished on our last video we were just a little bit short we had to send a crew back out here to just finish up the flagstone patio and tidy everything up clean up customers really happy um, i want to thank you all for watching this long video this was a long one but this was about a week's worth of work and it came out really nice we did two retaining walls in the backyard two flagstone patios on top of those flower beds um, customers really happy we love the way it looks i personally have not even seen the finished product so i'm gonna go look at it right now and uh, you guys are coming with me so let's check it out again thanks for watching keep on watching our videos give us a like follow our youtube page and you'll get to see more cool stuff like this one thank y'all